So when I was streaming, I decided to play GTA Online and I also decided to make a new character. With this character, I wanted to go from level one, having nothing, to then having absolutely everything. So this is more or less just the highlights of me, you know, making money. None of the ways I make the money are necessarily new, it's just me looking up other tutorials on how to make money when you're lower level. If you want to watch me do this live, check out the stream, there will be a link in the description below, head over to Twitch. So the first thing we obviously do when you learn to GTA Online is obviously steal a car, that's the first thing you do, but we decided to sell the car, I actually picked a really shitty car to sell, didn't really get too much money for it, but you know, every little bit helps. You can steal a car, I think it's like every hour, or a little bit less than an hour, so we did that, and then I went to steal this car, then I stole the car, I hit that guy by accident, and he got out, he wasn't too happy with me, so he actually pulled me out of the car, so we had to give a little bit of a left right good night before I headed on to my adventure of making money. Fuck you, fuck you. Don't mess with the hipster with the, with the white dreads, alright? Fuck with him. Quickly, before I stopped off at the casino, my grey-haired dreadlocks man decided to quickly hold up a store for a sneaky little bit of money, thousand dollars. Then we headed off to the casino and planted a rich guy's car. Can't really get over the cutscenes with, you know, a guy with like grey dreadlocks. It's still, still crazy to me. But obviously we want to do the casino so we can spin the wheel. That wasn't too bad because we managed to rank up, which is pretty handy when you're starting off so that you have unlocks to, you know, more things. Whilst we're in the casino, we decided to do a little bit of blackjack and this is how we went. Didn't go good. We put all our money on and then we got blackjack against us. So we left the casino and we headed to the music locker to start this cutscene so that we can unlock the submarine, which is probably like our main goal to making money is to unlock the submarine. Such a boy. Mom, take it easy. Fucking hydrate. After the casino, my car was gone, so I decided to find a car and went onto the highway and there was a truck. Don't do it. Oh, the truck! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> the Whilst that was going on, there was a free roam mission where you had to fly planes as close to the ground as possible. We can see how that went. Then I stole a helicopter when I respawned and I was about to come first and then the guy who was winning, he decided to come no. say hello to me. You're joking. You're joking. He, the guy that's winning killed me! You what a cockhead! So the free roam challenges aren't too bad because I came second and I won $10,000, which is pretty handy when you're starting off. So the main thing we want to do is to do the bounty hunter and the treasure hunter ones. So I started off the treasure hunter as you, as you can see. And on the way to the countryside we decided to try and steal a jet. And we can see how this went. Have we done it? First go? Surely not. Yeah, we didn't do it first go. Alright, well. Oh, oh, I thought he had a parachute. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck! So we gave up on that and then we decided to look for some clues to start the treasure hunter. There's the first clue, which actually took me so long to find. Then we found a shovel. Yay! Alright. Then we went to a cave and saw this man. And then we went and found a empty gun thing, bottle thing, and then we found the gun and it was really weird, the gang glitched out and my player was invisible so we see some nice floating gun action. That was fucking worse. I think it's... Oh, why is it a floating gun? I don't think it was supposed to be a floating gun. With that done, we found the treasure and then we decided to do the bounty hunter. And I wasn't sure at the start if you had to kill them or put them back in your car. Didn't really make a difference. If you kill them, you win, you get $5,000. If you don't kill them and take them back to Maud, you get $10,000. So that was the first guy. He's the second guy. We shoot him in the head as well. Go to the third person. Somehow he doesn't die by getting run over by a police officer and myself. So then I had to pick him up and take him to thing. I thought, well, if he's done so well at surviving him, he, he, I guess he deserves to be taken in and, and not die. Somehow the police didn't absolutely murder me here, and the guy didn't really care about the police. He sort of just, was just happy to get into my car and just, you know, casually walk, not even run. <laughs> Look at the police. So we took that guy here to Maud, and as you can see, there's that little collectible. We managed to get $1,000 from, from that uh, action figure as well. So that was, you know, a little bit more money for us. So then the fourth bounty was this person with white face face paint and we ended her and then the last bounty was by the beach and we killed him and right next to us there was a fuck what's that called a random event to steal some cargo and that is how this went oh 
We did manage to end up doing it. It took me a while to kill all those guys, and then we managed to deliver the goods, which got us about twenty thousand dollars, which was handy. Then we had also uh, completed the bounty, so we managed to get the stone hatchet. Luckily, we could see my guy's beautiful grey hair, dreadlocks, and this time he wasn't invisible, which was fantastic. So to do that, you have to kill fifty people with the hatchet to get the two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and also I believe it's fifty as well with the golden revolver. It has a little thing and tells you how many you need. It might be less than fifty, but you know, as you can see, we did got two fifty for the hatchet and also two fifty two fifty for the revolver. So that puts us to five hundred thousand dollars that took me about three hours of streaming to do that whole first bit so there you go three hours gets you five hundred thousand dollars when you're just starting out yay we did it all right now we can die i don't care so another good way to make money is to head over to the flight school as we're doing here and i had no idea about this flight school when i was playing the game on my original account the only way i found out was by googling ways to make money when you're low level oh that's oh Oh, fuck me. Oh, I'm surprised we survived that. Basically, there's a series of challenges where you can get bronze, silver, or gold for. Obviously, gold gives you the most money. And if you do all of them, gold, you get about 250,000, which is, you know, really, really good when you're starting off. And it took me about two hours worth of streaming. So, you know, that amount of money when you're first starting off as, you know, literally from level one is a fairly, a fairly high amount of money. So it was really good to get that. Some of the missions were harder than others, like obviously I'm only showing the highlights of me when I'm just finishing them, but some of them took a really long time, especially towards the end, like this one with the helicopter where you had to shoot the bloody missiles was really annoying. After the helicopter basically they just get harder and harder, more or less. Um, this one was really hard, you have to fly as low as you can to the ground. A lot of times they end up just scraping the ground and blowing up the, blowing up the plane. Then this one you have to go through all the rings, which was easy enough, but you had to do it in a time limit and it was really hard to do it within the time limit but actually the one I got gold on I managed to do it with like 20 seconds to spare so that, that was crazy and then the last one you just have to follow the guy around which is you know pretty straightforward it's actually it's actually pretty easy compared to the flying low to the ground and through the rings so yeah I just finished the last one there as you can see get that little bit more money and then we're gonna check our bank and we're very close to a million and that's you know it's probably like four hours of gameplay so realistically if you really want to grind it you can get nearly a million you know, in four to four to five hours. And this was the end of the stream, so if I'd steal this car, and that one you actually get lots of money. So if you see that car, you spot that one, steal it, sell it, you get about nearly seven grand. Then, I thought, you know, be cool and spin the wheel. Go, 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 go. You're joking. Money, money. Oh, I got the car. I don't have a garage, though. I'd... I actually would have preferred the money. I actually managed to win the car, and it's literally like the worst one. So it was really annoying. I mean, it still looks pretty cool, but I'd rather win like a supercar, not this stupid thing. It literally just had a livery. That's why I was, you know, it was even worth selling. But, you know, we're going to end it there with me dancing in front of the car.